With the game having a very positive rating on Steam along with an anticipated movie release helmed by Markiplier, the indie experience known as Iron Lung isn't short of praise. Countless YouTubers have expressed their liking to the game soon after it first came out. On the other side of the coin, even while I agree with most of the praise the game receives, there's actually parts of the game that have glaring issues, at least in my eyes. And while I've had these thoughts on it for a while, I mostly kept them to myself in case I wanted to make a video on it. Then one day, as I was scrolling on my YouTube recommended page, I found a Slimesicle video where he played four obscure Steam horror games. As a somewhat horror connoisseur myself, I decided to click on it to see what it was about. It was in that video that I found a small game titled Crawl. The game is listed on itch.io, which is pretty funny when considering the video was about Steam games. Turns out that this game is not only similar to Iron Lung, but outdoes it in many ways. After finishing the video, I fell in love with this game and immediately made note of it for a future video essay. If you're watching this, that means I finally made it. In this video, I'm going to go over Crawl and its gameplay and directly compare it to Iron Lung to show you why I think it's better. Quick note, this video is not meant to hate on Iron Lung. Even with the nitpicks I have, I still enjoy Iron Lung as both a game and a concept. This is simply meant to highlight another game and show off my problems that I do have with Iron Lung. Side note, I'm also really hyped for the Iron Lung movie to come to theaters and will probably make a video on it too. One last thing to mention, returning viewers will probably notice my change in appearance. That's because I got new talking sprites, made by Sona, co-host and partial artist of the channel. I still really like the old one I used to have made by Taxi, but I wanted to take a different approach with my character going forward. I hope you like it! Now with that, let's discuss what Crawl does better than Iron Lung. The story of Crawl takes the simple but effective approach. You're a spelunker that ventures out into this mysterious small cave. You've heard of others like yourself going missing at this particular cave so you decide to investigate. You must crawl in and take a total of 5 photos throughout the cave's tunnels. The only items that you carry with you are your map, your camera to document your findings, and a small light that requires to be wound up to stay on. With these items alone, you need to navigate this cramped space and face whatever challenges you may encounter. Since you're crawling in a small tunnel, the only way to reach your items is by flipping over, facing the other way, and reaching in your vest and pockets. I really enjoy this specific element of the game already. The idea of traversing a claustrophobic tunnel is good enough, but then the game evokes even more of this feeling by enforcing these uncomfortable game mechanics that make you feel like you're trapped with your character. Every movement required to grab an item or to progress makes you feel ensnared within the walls of these compact tunnels. You already envision what kinds of threats could arise before you even see any just from the game mechanics and area alone. After wiggling through the tight stone walls, you come up on the very first spot on your map that you need to capture. You simply hold the right mouse button to ready your camera, and then click with the left to snap the photo. This is where the game teaches you that after every photo you must turn around and reset the cartridge on the camera. This takes time to do. Remember this for later. Now having taken your first photo, you must carry on and take the remaining four. All seems normal, until the game gives you an unsettling text prompt. If something attacks you, flash it by taking a photo. This is the equivalent of getting the hold shift to sprint message. The game gives you a heads up on any potential danger and lets you linger on this feeling. This isn't anything special to the game or anything, but I thought I'd point it out nonetheless. Some more crawling passes and you reach your second location. You snap a quick picture and when you turn around to change your cartridge, you see it, what the game warned you about. It immediately scurries off, but you are able to see its grey and red stained skin before it flees out of your sight. Our very first and only threat of the game. At any given moment, they'll appear in front of you as you're crawling forward, and you must flash them with your camera before they reach you. You could even be in the middle of winding up your flashlight and they'll jump out at you. It's something you always have to be aware of, and I like it for that. We've now established all of Crawl's core mechanics, so now we can move on to my reasoning as to why I think it's better than Iron Lung. A main criticism with Iron Lung that I hear often, which I agree with, is its lack of gameplay. Whenever playing Iron Lung, the gameplay consists of checking your map, making sure you navigate correctly, and taking a photo once you reach your destination, all things which Crawl has. The key difference between the two is the depth of the gameplay. With Iron Lung, what I listed is pretty much what you do, nothing else to it. You press the buttons to navigate, check your cords, and reach the picture site. The method of navigation especially makes this game feel way more tedious than it needs to. 
But with Crawl, you not only have to do those three things, but you have to frequently wind up your light, swap out your cartridge after each picture, and watch out for ongoing threats that could end your game short. Crawl takes the bare bones concept that it shares with Iron Lung and adds interesting elements to it. Side note, it also shows where on the map you are so it's easier to navigate, which is so much nicer. Another problem with Iron Lung is that it lacks any sort of threat. Now don't get me wrong, there are some horror games that are horrifying all while not having any threats. I highly recommend Anatomy on itch.io, that game's great. I would go as far to say that there are even sub-segments of horror games that lack a threat that can be scary. But in the case of Iron Lung, it really hinders the experience and, at least for me, makes it feel like nothing's going on. The main tension that the game creates is exclusively from the ambience from outside the sub, the occasional spooky loud sound to catch you off guard, and of course the ending jump scare. It does these elements well, but I wish that there was more to it. Even if the threat wasn't that difficult to deal with, the game could really benefit from having something else to pay attention to. That's why Crawl works so well. It has a constant threat that you need to be conscientious about as you search the caves. Having multitasking in the game makes it more fulfilling and it doesn't get stale too quickly. When you consider that both of these games aren't massive in length, with Iron Lung clocking in at around an hour and Crawl being said to be roughly 20-ish minutes in length according to the itch.io page, you need to make every minute of that count. Iron Lung for me gets stale with how mundane its sole mechanic is. When a game consists of one action that hardly deviates in difficulty and activity, this feeling can happen. Crawl adds that interest in defending yourself, maintaining light, all while going further into the cave's depths to look for missing spelunkers. This kind of thing can even tie into the horror side of each respective game. You have so many things to worry about in Crawl that the paranoia of slipping up constantly fills your mind. To be fair to Iron Lung, however, it can also evoke this feeling on a first playthrough with how unknown the ocean outside your sub truly is. After that first playthrough is where this feeling rubs off. Iron Lung scares, including the first one, are all fully scripted. Crawl has some scripted scares, mainly to teach you mechanics, but after you see the first of those creatures, the reins are off and you're on your own until that last photo. One last thing to mention is the types of horror games that these are. Both of these games are better classified as horror experiences. Short horror games that are meant to leave an impact on the player that you'll never forget. Regardless of my personal preference or critical thoughts on each, both have aspects of a horror experience that they do well. Iron Lung creates that atmosphere of being isolated in a supposed dangerous place. That feeling of being stuck, with the way out having untold trials of terror that you must face. What makes me believe that Crawl is better is not that Iron Lung lacks the aforementioned feelings, but that it lacks well thought out mechanics and scares to build off of them. Iron Lung sets up its atmosphere well and you dwell on it throughout, but it falls flat in the payoff of a cheap jump scare at the very end. If it had more mechanics or threats along the way like I mentioned earlier, I think it would be far better than it currently is. Crawl has that build up with the mechanics to boot, and that's the reason I think it has the leg up over Iron Lung. To wrap things up, both of these games are interesting horror experiences and both deserve a playthrough. Despite my negative criticism towards Iron Lung, I still think there are good elements about it that should be explored by every horror fan. The world building is interesting and the atmosphere is eerie. Who knows, if you play it, you might like it more than I do. And of course, please check out Crawl as well. Besides these three videos on it, and of course Slimesicle's playthrough, I haven't seen the game get too much traction. It's a very underrated indie horror game and you should definitely check it out. I'll leave the link to both Crawl and Iron Lung's store page in the description. As always, thank you to everyone who got this far in the video. I say this nearly every video essay I write, but I just appreciate people giving me the time of day and listening to me talk about something I love. So if you're hearing this, thanks a bunch. I would love to see y'all stick around. And if you're watching this video around the time of its release, I'll be streaming Crawl shortly after I put this out. Check out my live tab if you're interested. Well, that's all from me. Until next time, cheers!